Hey, this is Dorian Day, and welcome to Serum in Depth number 10. Today we're going to be talking about making sensible warp tables so that when you morph or use the wavetable position knob, your sound sounds good, pretty much. Steve Duda talks about it in the manual, chapter 17, Making Wavetables, and he discusses uh, what makes a good wavetable, and he's pretty much uh, goes into talk about having a contrast between consistency um, and change so that your wavetable sounds interesting but isn't so chaotic or random that it's hard to follow or find engaging. Now I can show you an example of this with a pretty good set of waveforms I've found. And this is going to be something you run into as you make your own series of wavetables, as you find other sets of sounds, um, as I did in this case. So right here we have um, 10 wave shapes that came from a um, waveform sample pack or download. I just found it randomly on the internet. And uh, I'm sure these are going to get pretty popular as Serum catches on. So... You, you drag over 10 files, and in this case, they're related. Let's go in. They sort of build. So this is sort of, I think, what Steve Duda is trying to talk about in the manual, is having a balance between the changes between each scene and the consistency so that it's both interesting but you can follow it. For example, if we were to mess that up, by sorting it. You can hear it gets jumbled up. And depending on the number of scenes and the kind of sound you have, it could be, it could be better or worse. So anyways, if we make a morph with this, which is pretty typical thing to do between these because you can smooth it out. Well, in this case, it actually made a pretty interesting chaotic sound, but um, it's not very, it's not very one directional. It pretty much goes up and down and changes all around. And I think to some extent you should use the wavetable knob in a unidirectional manner and attempt to try and inject consist or uh, randomness through other things. Of course, depending on the type of music you're making. But anyways, I have a pre-prepared table and we're gonna switch through them and test. So this is the one I just made. I took those 10 samples and I sorted them and messed up their order and then did the morph. And I already had a table made where I kept them in their quote unquote original correct order where it was a smooth consistent change. So you can see there, um, the, the one we made in this video, like I, we discussed shortly before, is kind of not unidirectional. It changes as you go along. You hear the highs and the lows, and it sort of sounds like someone talking. So perhaps for random or like vocally type sounds, this is the ideal thing because it mimics the somewhat random nature of vowels and speaking. 
but in terms of having something that sounds like it evolves um, in a natural manner, I think having it ordered in a way that makes sense gives a more flexible sound in the end. I think it's at least better for table design, not necessarily for um, sound design. I think it just yields something that's a little more predictable. So let's say you have a number of sounds and you this and you want to sort them because they don't come sorted like these ones did. Let's initialize. And I'll just use the one I already have. Just remove the morph tables. So if we sort these and screw them up, we can try and use sort to get them correct. And in this case, it didn't do such a bad job when I was testing it. But you still need to use your ears a little bit and try and resort it. Things should just feel like they're going forward. four is a little weird overall. I might just delete it. So that's it. That's uh, pretty much how you could can make a sensible wavetable um, if you have a bunch of sounds that you know are s sort of sim uh, similar, but they didn't come in any kind of order. So you pretty much just need to listen to them and see what's evolving. Uh, in this case, you could hear it almost go up in pitch, and it eventually sounded smooth once you reordered things. And it's uh, it's up to your ear. And then you can also see the power of having it in a more random order. So hopefully uh, this set shed some light on how to create sensible wave tables out of perhaps unsensible sounds.